five day formula. How do we get better, throw farther, hit PRs in five days? I'm gonna tell you in this video, check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Air Throws Nation, and what we're going to discuss in today's video is the five-day formula. Okay, so one of the things we want to do is we want to get better fast. Who doesn't want to get better fast? How can we PR in five days? Well, the only way you're going to get better is rep, and the best way to get reps is to make sure that you're doing a ton of drill movements, working on your pillars while you're training. So one of the things we do here at Air Throws Nation is we're focused on we do our pillar drills and we do pillar connection movement in with our throws. Let's talk about our six pillars for a second. So number one, let's talk about rotational shots. So when I'm winding up and I'm setting everything down and I'm setting my start position, I'm looking at my pillar one and that was my pillar two moving to this position. So pillar one, Pillar two. So pillar two is classic we talked about is the holy grail. Getting around the left for your right-handed throws. That entry side, getting around that long entry side in is really, really key to throwing far. So one of the things we're gonna do is if we see common mistake of turning the chest into our pillar two, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do pillar two drills. So we're gonna be doing what we call as a center mass shift. We have a shift in step. We have a multiple drills in our system. We actually have, I believe, eight drills for pillar two. Pillar two is, like we said, the holy grail and it has one of the most often drills. Now, one of the things we'll do is we'll add bands and we'll add PVC. We'll do different things that are just gonna be the core drill, but we can add a different kind of like stimulus to change how you're gonna learn and move it. But the key is, is to learn those key mechanics in what you have to do. We have a new video series that teaches you some simple drills and some simple things inside the chain reaction. So what's the secret? The five day formula is something really pretty simple. It's a lot of work in a concentrated period of time because let me repeat, there are no shortcuts to throwing far. Just good movement, done right, done a lot, and that's what's gonna lead. The key is how are you going to do it and the key is to identify exactly what you need to do and that's the key to the five day formula. So one of the things that we talk about is we do a simple formula in that that's called one plus 10. That's something we use all the time and what does that mean? It means for every throw we do 10 drills. So if I'm I'm doing what we have in our systems called a pre-block and we're working on having this leg blocked up, we're setting up tension, and we're learning how to drive into the throw. What we're going to do is after we complete our pre-block, if we have a poor delivery side action, then we're gonna do our pillar drills. We're gonna do pillar five and six movements. So you've seen that on our YouTube videos, look at the drill down drill. So for instance, if we're always jumping and not turning, we're gonna be working on doing the drill down and teaching how we get the knee pushing and turning down and drilling in. So we're seeing this, so we would see that's where the block connects and you can see how the hip comes through on that rotational shot. Five day formula, here's it is simple. If you're taking 30 throws in a practice and you add one plus 10, is not 11, it is one throw plus 10 drills, that's 11 total movements per round. So you'd be doing between 1150 drills and 1650 throwing motions in a week, in five days. So think about that. So many high school programs and youth programs they stand in one ring, they've got 10 kids, and they're getting maybe 10 throws in a practice because there's not enough time and not enough implements. So one of the things we recommend you do is stretch out, get a slab of concrete, it could be a tennis court, a parking lot, a racquetball court, or the straightaway on a track, somewhere where you can stretch out, and that's the best way to throw in general. That's another subject for another video. But the point is, is if you're out throwing by yourself, you throw, you take your implements, you take a throw, 10 reps, throw, 10 reps. With the throwing chain reaction system, as we go from pillar six, in our throwing sequence, we go pillar six. So we go a pre-block, we do a stand throw, we do what we call a half turn, we call it a modified wheel. So one of the things that we discuss is we go through that, how we sequence it and how we identify the corresponding drill, we put that together. So what we're doing is creating a really specific formula for each athlete. It's not one size fits all, it's identifying what you need to do and that's one of the beauties behind the throwing chain reaction system. It's a simple way to teach you how do we look at the throw, how do we communicate the throw. We literally use the pillar language, pillar one, pillar two. It's very easy to tell an athlete, this is what you're doing in four or five. They know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to explain no support, second double support, second single support, and half the people aren't gonna know what that means anyway, especially young throwers. So we're telling them six things, easy to locate, and then they can see and tell what is the inefficiency
accuracy. So then we have a corresponding drill. This is what you want to be able to learn. So that's one of the reasons why we created our system is to help more coaches and throwers how to quickly identify problems and how to fix them quick. And that's really the five day formula. So the five day formula encompasses the one plus 10 method. So that one plus 10 is one throw, 10 drills. This is how you get between 1150 to 1650 throws in a week. Imagine when you're doing that for a month, almost 5,000 throws to 7,000 throws in a month. So this is how you get better faster. There's no shortcut. You have to do the right things and you have to do the right things frequently. But for you going out there, you got to practice, you got to identify your weakness and you got to train that weakness. If you'd like more on that, stay tuned for coming out with a whole five day formula mini course that we're going to provide in addition to our rotational throws course and our glide course. And we'll talk about the one plus 10 more in that thing and provide some drills complimentary in that mini course. And if you're one of our paid member subscribers for the throwing chain reaction system, you're going to get this free course. That's an in-depth course on the five day formula. You will have access to clearly all the drills in the system, all the pillar connection drills and how you're going to get those PRs in five days. So if you like today's video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment below on anything else you'd like to hear or any questions you have answered. And we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe, visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the throwing chain reaction system. Thanks so much for watching.